Thank you, Madam Chair. And I just wanted to urge adoption of this amendment, um, unfortunately, because there are babies who are born alive uh, during an abortion. Um, and while state laws prohibit homicide, they can't clarify what, is a, what a doctor is expected to do in that circumstance. And the hope here is that there is some guidance so that if this happens, um, which I, I'm sure um, is very distressing, uh, that there is some guidance for how they take care of and make sure that that uh, baby is given the same equal medical care that any other baby of that gestational age uh, would be offered in a hospital setting. Under uh, it's a, Basically, there's language here that talks about the reasonable course of care. Basically, it's just making sure that there's equality under the law. And I, for those who are not uh, paying attention in this issue, um, again, there are there are government articles. There's uh, CDC did a 2003 to 2014 study. Um, my colleague mentioned it, that at least 143 babies were born of alive, born alive and subsequently died um, after an attempted abortion. There's a, a GPO article that talks about it being an everyday occurrence. Um, it's a little bit older. There's the state of Arizona reported 10 babies born alive in just five months in 2017 after an attempted abortion. Um, Canada reports 491 babies were born alive during an, an abortion between 2000 and 2009. Um, and there is evidence, unfortunately, that babies born alive are being killed or neglected after the fact. So that should concern everybody in this room, whether you're pro-life or you're pro-choice. If a baby is born alive after an abortion, they deserve constitutionally the same exact protection under the law that any other baby is, is, is equal to. And this is a very difficult issue. Um, but in 2017, while answering questions about whether there were standard procedures uh, for, for ver verifying if the baby is born alive and what happens after, after the fact, um, a doctor, Dr. Taylor uh, was an abortion provider in Arizona and California, wouldn't answer the question directly and then later observed uh, that it depended on who was in the room. Um, you know, an example when observers do find it troubling, three former employees of an abortion clinic testified in 2013 that the doctor they worked for in Denton, Texas, actively killed babies born alive during an abortion. That should terrify every single one of us. Again, it has, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, these, the, you cannot argue with this. You know, a Planned Parenthood representative testified in 2013 that even if a baby was born alive, the decision on what to do with the newborn, uh, should they survive, uh, would still be left up to the mother and the doctor. Now, while Planned Parenthood later issued a statement um, in response to the outrage generated uh, by the, the original comments um, that they would provide care to the infant, the first statement, it doesn't make the first statement obsolete. So this happens, it happens on our watch, it happens among us. This, this amendment is, is basically just taking that step where there are federal taxpayer dollars involved to, to TRICARE beneficiaries, um, that if that occurs, that those kids uh, who are born alive and needing medical care will have access to it. And I just, I just urge every person in this room to take a moment, whether you like that this happens or not, recognize the truth is that it does happen. And we have a responsibility to help provide guidance so that it's not a, a, on a doctor's conscience uh, or God forbid, you know, you know, just an assistant in the room that, that we have taken those steps to make sure that equal protection under the law is provided. And we talk a lot about what types of kids are going through these instances. And, and there's a lot of defense on access for women, uh, women of color to have these have this access. Well, those babies, if they are born alive, regardless of their color or their station in life, deserve this access um, to equal treatment under the law. And I would urge its adoption. With that, I yield back.